Peep text. Hey Heather, are you awake? What's up? Yeah, I'm awake. It's about Lori's graduation tomorrow. I don't think I can make it in time. I see. I mean, if it's about work, it can't be helped, right? I'm sure Lori will understand. I'm so sorry. I want to go home for her too, but I really don't see myself finishing off all this work in time. It's okay, don't worry about it. You're in Houston right now, right? We'll celebrate it with the two of us tomorrow. I'm planning on making her all of her favorite foods. Thank you, Heather. I'm so glad to have married a wonderful woman like you. Oh, calm down, Eric. <laughs> you won't get anything from me, even if you kiss my ass. I need to get Lori a present when I get home, too. I'll do my best to finish off ASAP and get home early, okay? Don't push yourself too hard. I just sent the text to Heather. She totally bought that I wasn't going to be making it back home tomorrow. Oh my, look at you, little sneaky devil you. How could you do such a thing to your wife? You're such a bad boy. Hey, this isn't the time to be fooling around. You made sure everything is prepared, right? Oh, calm down. I was just messing around. Everything is prepared, just the way you asked for it. The cake and candles, the congratulations on graduation cards, and on the dessert plate, there is a handmade drawing of the popular character from the TV show Stranger Things, a hand-drawn Demogorgon. This is going to cost you a pretty penny, just so you know. Okay, okay, I got it. I'll pay what you're asking, so just make sure you tell me without hesitating. I'm just joking. If you invite your company parties at my place, then we can call it square, yeah? Man, you really don't stop joking around, do you? But thank you. I think I'm able to give the perfect present for Lori thanks to you, Helen. Oh, you really don't need to be so formal. We've known each other since high school. Still, I can't believe you're a restaurant owner now. An Italian restaurant was my dream ever since I was little. Are you sure you don't want to rent out the place tomorrow? I really don't mind if you want to. It's not like we have any employees yet anyway. <laughs> don't worry about it. You don't have to do that much for me. Oh, but I will be inviting over my wife's parents tomorrow. So don't spill any juice or break any plates in front of us, okay? They're very uptight and formal folk. I would never do such a thing. <laughs> but understood, I'll be on my best behavior. I'll take it all super ultra serious. All right, thanks. See you tomorrow at 7 p.m. then. See you. I'll be waiting for your arrival. Um, excuse me, your reservation for today? It's five of you, including you, right? You, your wife, Lori, and your wife's parents, right? Yeah, that's all. By the way, I just got to the station. I'm about to go pick up Helen and Heather. I'll pick up Mom and Dad after that. Right. So, um... Huh? I'm sorry if I'm mistaken about this, but... Just spit it out already! You really need to stop beating around the bush. Your wife, um... She might be at the store already. What? Seriously? I only saw your wife's face at the wedding, so I don't really remember exactly what she looks like, but she's got long black hair right now, right? Yeah. Does she own a pretty flowery sundress? Yeah, she does. It's her favorite, and she only wears it on special occasions, though. Wait, so you're telling me she brought Lori to that store with her? Oh, man. The surprise is totally ruined now. Oh man, this is awkward. It's a man. She's with a man, not your daughter. What? No, seriously. I'm probably just mistaken, you know? I'll send a photo now. Can you check? Heather, I think it looks like her, but there's no way, right? It's Lori's birthday today. Right? I just got home, so I'll take a look around the house real quick. Okay. I only see Lori. She looks like she's knocked out after crying too much. There's no food either. What? Um, what do you want to do? I'm assuming you'll want to cancel the whole thing, right? Nah, you prepared everything for us. I'll go. But, if possible, could you help me out real quick, though? I promise I won't get in the way of your store. I just finished work. How was the graduation ceremony? Hey you! It was so moving! I cried so much! I actually cried too much! My face is a mess! <laughs> I see. 
What are you doing right now? Huh? I'm out with Lori right now. There was some Italian place nearby, so we're there right now. I see. Look, doesn't it look so delicious? Man, I wish I could have let you have some of this. What a coincidence! I'm actually having pasta right now, too. Wow, really? Can you send me a photo of it? Sure, of course. Here you go. Huh? Wait, what is this? When did you take this photo? It's from today. Why is Lori in this picture? What do you mean? It's because I'm eating with Lori, of course. <laughs> huh? I feel so bad for her. She was crying at home this whole time, all because her mom left her alone at home and went to go eat somewhere. I wonder what would have happened if I didn't come home. Wait, hang on! What? You're in Tokyo right now? What about your business trip? I finished it off as best I could and came back home. I wanted to surprise you guys. You know what I mean? Wait, hang on. It's not what it looks like. I did leave her at home, but I was just out shopping. I'm heading home now. That photo I just sent you earlier, it was a joke. I'm actually at the store right now buying groceries. Okay, let's just cut the crap, okay? I'm actually in the same restaurant as you right now, with Lori. Huh? We're in a private room, and there are a bunch of little separations, so you probably can't tell. We're sitting next to the entrance of the store. Oh hey, I just saw you peek out! Peekaboo! <laughs> so, who are you here with? A uh, friend? I see. So you left your own daughter on her graduation day to go to a dinner with a male friend. Can I go over there real quick? Ah, whatever, okay, okay, okay! I'm so sorry! There we go. You satisfied now? What? You're so sneaky when you should really be more of a man. If you don't like it, you should have just came running in. Guns a-blazing! I'm sure he'll tear you apart, though. <laughs> so you admit you're having an affair, right? Of course I admit it. So you need to admit it, too. That you were useless as a man, and that's why this happened. What? If you were only full of attractive qualities, I never would have done this kind of thing either. I need to seek superior genetics to make sure that my offspring are going to thrive. You realize that men aren't the only one that want to spread their genetics, right? I I'll just tell you since you figured it out. I've been wanting to divorce you for a while now. Huh? Divorce? What were you planning on doing with Lori? Uh, can you just take her from me? <laughs> I don't need some shitty child who has your terrible low-life genetics. <laughs> That's why you left her at the house? Have you been doing stuff like this regularly? Yeah, kinda. Most of the time you were away on business, I was out fooling around. You're kidding, right? You're just too much of a worrier. Just because it's a child doesn't mean she'll die after two or three days of not eating. Stop throwing a fit every time she doesn't eat a little bit. Are you some kind of Karen or something? <laughs> I see. I think I understand your logic now. Let's get a divorce. I'll take Lori, too. Oh my god. <laughs> You're just going to bend over and accept everything, huh? <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> you don't have the courage to come in and stop me. You don't even argue. Of course you're going to be dumped by your woman. <laughs> you can say whatever you want, but I'm going to have my money for damages. You silly goose. I'm not going to pay for any damages, of course. <laughs> because you gave me mental and physical suffering, forcing me to divorce you. What? How have you not figured it out already? You think that there would be a boyfriend who wouldn't say anything while I'm texting my stupid husband? He's helping me out, too. What do you mean? Oh my god, you're so slow! I'm going to have him help me out to make it seem like I'm receiving abuse from you. You're not. Yeah, exactly. I am going to do that. Just a little bit. All I need is one little bruise for proof. <laughs> from an outside perspective, he's just someone who helped me out when I asked for help. I ran away from you and ran to the police to ask for help with him. I'll put on my best help me face. <laughs> then you're done. You're just going to be gone. My parents will be furious, you realize that. They hate people like that. They're going to charge so much for the damages. You're going to have to deal with the burden of Lori for the rest of your life before you end your miserable little life. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> Whatever. Good luck! I'm just wondering. You really think that typing all of your plans onto your phone and texting them over to me won't be proof of any of your wrongdoings? 
Just look at your text history. I've unsent all of them, so it's all completely blank. <laughs> I've screenshot all of this before you unsent them. Huh? I figured you'd delete it. I'm not an idiot. Wait, what? Did you not think that I had that kind of intelligence? I mean, I'm usually not very good with phones, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> but I wanted to save some of your text messages that I really liked, so I learned how to do it. I didn't think it would be useful here. <laughs> and don't worry, those text messages are all going to be deleted. <laughs> so what if you screenshot them? If I just take your phone before you have any chance to do anything, there are no problems with that, right? I'm going to have him take your phone from you. I hope you get your ass beat along the way, too. Yeah, that boyfriend that's oh so tough, he peeked his face out and looked at me. Then he immediately turned around and went to the bathroom that was nearby. <laughs> he looked so terrified. <laughs> My guess is that he saw your parents' faces, too. Huh? Yeah, your parents. It was their adorable grandchild's graduation, so they made sure they freed up their night to come by. They're so busy, so I really can't thank them enough. Such great grandparents. What? Hold on. I don't understand. Okay, let me explain again. Your mother and father are both with Lori and me right now. Why? It's all part of the surprise! <laughs> I went to pick them up for you. Lori is also happy that she's able to meet up with her grandpa and grandma. You're kidding me. Hang on a sec. What? Mom and Dad know that I'm here right now? Yeah, of course they know. They know that you left your own child crying at home, all alone, to go have an affair. They know that the person you're having an affair with is your own company's co-worker, too. Man, big-time corporate executives really are something else, you know that? I'm about to pop a vessel reading your texts. But they see all the text messages you sent me at the same time as me. But they're always so kind to Lori and never miss a beat when it comes to listening to her. You're lying! You're a liar! You're just trying to make me nervous and scare me into listening to what you have to say. Why would I lie about that? It serves me no benefit at all. If you don't believe me, then why don't you come over here and check on everything yourself? I can't do that! You really think I would ever do that? Then how about you have your amazing boyfriend come do it for you? He's got the superior genetics, right? <laughs> that superior boyfriend of yours hasn't even come out of the bathroom yet! <laughs> Eric! I'm so sorry! Uh, please forgive me! I apologize! I was just a little sad and tempted because all you ever did was focus on your stupid job! I promise I'll never do it again! You're serious? <laughs> I could never get back with you! You lie like it's not a problem, you turn around and play the victim, then the second you're no longer in a position to bargain, you act upset! And yet, you don't have the courage to come check on us! That kind of cheating little bitch SHOULD get thrown away by people like us! Eric, please answer the phone! Let's talk with just the two of us! Yeah, I have nothing to talk about with you at this point. By the way, why do you think that your parents were just quietly watching us this whole time? What? They were waiting for the last customer to leave after they take care of their check. Oh, and would you look at that! That last customer just finished paying! Alright, I guess the rest of this conversation can be in person then. Eric, wait! Oh hey, your mom just had an insanely terrifying look on her face, and is headed your way. Good luck! <laughs>The second that Helen noticed the commotion, she took Lori out of the store, and Heather's mother blew up in a spectacular fashion. She bitch-slapped Heather as hard as she could, and forced her crying daughter to get on her knees on the spot. She was screaming from the top of her lungs, scolding her. My father-in-law, on the other hand, dragged the employee from out of the toilet, and he too exploded in a spectacular fashion. I actually wanted to say something too, but I was kind of overtaken by the two that I felt that I had to leave the restaurant for a second. <laughs> However, as Lori and Helen's guard dog, Choppy, were playing with each other, I could feel a surge of emotion come up and I started bawling. Helen pretended like she didn't notice and let me handle it. After I calmed down, I entered the store and saw Heather and the man with red eyes on their knees facing me. Heather's parents both apologized to me with those two as well. Apparently, the employee thought that if he saved Heather from me, he could go for the CEO position of the company. Of course, they figured that out, and so he was fired. Her father told me that I should ask for a large sum of money from both Heather and the man. Then he introduced me to a great lawyer. 
I was able to receive a pretty hefty amount of cash from the whole thing. The employee and Heather are both unemployed, and I'm sure living a hell on earth type of situation. It's still a little tough to think about it, but I'm thinking of working hard with Lori from now on. Oh, by the way, Helen seems to come by to give us some pasta from her store often. It really helps me out because I'm not good at cooking, but... Lori just won't stop about how she wants to eat Helen's pasta, and that's all she's going to eat. So I'm struggling a little with that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.